Okay, now we see the exercise 5D. You have got, uh, we'll take the, okay, we'll take, let's take the very first sum of this equation. First one is x square minus 6x is equal to 27. So first thing, as I told you, we have to convert it into the form of ax square plus bx plus c, which becomes x square minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0. So A becomes 1, B becomes minus 6, and C becomes minus 27. Accordingly, in the formula, X is equal to minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4AC upon 2A. That's the formula. Accordingly, we have over here minus of minus 6 plus or minus root of minus 6 the whole square minus 4 into 1 into minus 27 upon 2 into 1 okay that's it so here it is going to be 6 plus or minus root of 36 now this is minus minus plus and 27 into 4 will be 108 okay upon 2 that will be 6 plus or minus root of now this is 144 upon 2 so 144 is a square root well, is a square of 12 that makes it 6 plus or minus 12 upon 2 right so we get over here as 6 plus 12 upon 2 or x is equal to 6 minus 12 upon 2 so x is equal to 18 upon 2 or minus 6 upon 2 so x is equal to 9 or x is equal to minus 3. These are the solutions to the given equation. Okay, simple. This was simple, not a problem at all. Right? We go to the next question. Let's take, uh, okay, I can see the seventh one being in fact fraction. So we have over here the seventh question. Seventh over here is going to be two upon three x is equals to minus one upon six x square minus one upon three. Okay, first of all the LCM. So you can make six as the LCM for all of them. Let's take everything on the one side first. So it will be one upon six x square plus 2 upon 3x plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 0. So x square plus 4x plus 2 upon 6 is equal to 0. So x square plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0 is the given quadratic equation. Because 6 goes here and becomes 0. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 2. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so that gives you minus 4 plus or minus root of 4 square minus 4 into 1 into 2 upon 2 into 1 so that means minus 4 plus or minus root of 16 minus 8 upon 2 okay so here you can see that Let's see, one sec. Let's, let me go to the part. part. <clears throat> so this is equals to, x is equals to minus 4 plus or minus root of 8 upon 2. Now the moment you get this particular thing, you will have to use what we call it as the square root car table. So the table for square root, this is the Yeah, in this one sec. Now eight over here is two root two. One sec. So we know over here that root eight can be written as nothing but minus 4 plus or minus it is root 8 is nothing but 2 into 4 so it is 4 into 2 
upon 2 which is nothing but minus 4 plus or minus 2 root 2 upon 2 because 4 comes out like this hence you can see that it will be 2 which can be taken out common it will be minus 2 plus root 2 upon 2 the 2 2 gets cancelled so the x is equal to minus 2 plus root 2 or minus 2 minus root 2 we need the value of root 2 as 1.414 so it will be minus 2 plus 1.414 or minus 2 minus 1.414 so that will give me over here as minus 0. Point, uh, this will be 586 or it will be minus 3.414 this should be the answer for this particular quadratic equation so that was 5d question 1 ka 7 as 0. Point, yeah you can Round it up to the nearest two digit numbers so accordingly it could be minus five zero point really minus zero point five nine or minus three point four one okay that is the solution for the seventh question okay now we move forward and go for let's take the thirteenth question. Now, in the earlier chap question, we had got the root as root 2. So, we had the value of root 2 as 1.414. So, we did not look at, look for it in the square root table. But let's see, in future, we will need to use that thing. I will just explain you when we come to a sum of that kind. 2x upon x minus 4 plus 2x minus 5 upon x minus 3 is equals to 8 1 upon 3 cross multiply 2x into x minus 3 plus 2x minus 5 into x minus 4 upon x minus 4 x minus 3 is equals to 25 upon 3 so it will be 2x square minus 6x plus this will be 2x square minus 8x minus 5x plus 20 upon x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 25 upon 3. 2x plus 2x is 4x square and then 8 plus 14, 14 plus 5 is 19 minus 19x plus 20 upon x square minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 25 upon 3. Cross multiply, you get it as 12x square minus 19 into 3 is 57x plus 60 is equal to 25x square minus of 175x plus 300. Okay, bring everything on one side. Let's put it on that side. So 0 is equal to 25x square minus 12x square minus 175x plus 57x plus 300 minus 60 so that gives me 13x square minus this will be 17 so it is 117x plus 240 is equal to 0 so my a is equal to 13 b is equal to 117 and c is equal to 240 okay of course it's a difficult sum to do but anyways there's the only option is to use the formula accordingly we have over here as x is equal to minus b plus a minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a minus b is minus 117 plus or minus root of 117 the whole square minus 4 into 13 into 240 upon 2 into 13 okay so this we need to find out so it will be minus 117 plus or minus root of we need to find out the 
uh, some. So right now I'll use to find out over here will be one three six eight nine minus this will be equal to one two eight four zero upon twenty six you get over here is minus one one seven plus or minus root of so this is one three six eight nine minus can you do one two zero nine upon twenty six now one two zero nine Okay. Thirty-four point seven seven. Okay. As I see, seems to some error. So the error which I made is that this one is eight. So this is eight over here. One one eight. This will be one one eight. This is one one eight. And accordingly, this part over here will come as one three nine two four. And when I subtract this to this particular thing, it becomes one zero eight four. One zero eight four is. Yeah, and another mistake what we have over here is not one two four eight zero. This gives us one four four four. Now one four four is the the square root of one four four is thirty eight. So that gives me minus one one seven plus thirty eight upon twenty six, or minus one one seven minus thirty eight upon twenty six. So this will become as Seventy nine minus seventy nine upon twenty six. Sorry, this is eight. Eight. This is eight. This is eight. So this will be seventy eight. This will be so eight. But not seventy eight. This will be. 80, so it is minus 80. So this will be equal to 13 and 40. So minus 3, uh, 1 upon 13 is the answer. And here it will be minus 156, uh, 56, sorry, 156 upon 26, which will be equal to now minus 6. Okay, so x is equal to minus thirteen, three thirteen up one upon thirteen, or x is equal to minus six. So yeah, this was about the sum number. It was sum number thirteen of one. Okay, now we see further. Okay, now let's see the next part, and that is solve each of the following equation of our x and give your answer in one decimal point. Now, all these questions which are there, they will require you to use a log table book. The log table book looks like this. One of the book is like this. Oh, uh, sorry, and it has got one page over here, which is a square root. Cup page. This is a page for square root. Okay, this is a square root cup page. The same thing is also available in your textbooks at the end. So at the end over here, there are pages over here which is the square root cup page. So that is on page number four forty eight in my book. So square root cup page. This is the page for square roots. I'll tell you how to use this when we come to that particular question. So let's see the first question over here. We have first or second as five x square plus ten x minus three is equal to zero. So my a is equal to five, b is equal to ten, 
and c is equal to minus 3. Hence, x is equal to plus minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So we have it as minus 10 plus or minus root of 10 square minus 4 into 5 into minus 3 upon 2a. We have it as minus 10 plus or minus root of 100 plus this is 16 upon 2a. So it goes to 2a, a, sorry, a is 5, that is 10. So we have over here minus 10 plus or minus root of 160 upon 10. Now, here, because we know that 160 is nothing but 16 into 10, so I can always write it in the form of minus 10 plus or minus root of 16 into 10 upon 10. Now 16, because it is in the root, when we take it out, it becomes 4. Hence it will be x is equal to minus 10 plus or minus 4 root 10 upon 10. Understood? Now comes the use of this particular table. In this particular table, if you see that the square root from 10 to 100, on the first line itself, they are given that value of 10. So 10, this is 0, 1, 2, 3 means point. If decimal, 10.1, 10.2. No, you won't require that thing. What you will be requiring the direct numbers as 10, 20, 10, 30, 22, 43, 53, etc. So this is 10. The value of 10 is 3.162. Here, you will write it as minus 10 plus or minus 3.4 into, it will be 4 into 3.162 upon 10. Got it? So, this becomes minus 10 plus or minus, it will be 8 and 4, 6.1, 12. So 12.10, so that will become x is equal to minus 10 plus 12.648 upon 10 or minus 10 minus 12.648 upon 10. This becomes 2.648 upon 10 or minus 22.648 upon 10. Hence, the value of x is equal to 0 0.2648 or minus 2.2648 now we need to see that what is the exact question given to you the exact question given to you is that solve and give your answer correct into one decimal point hence you will round it out off and you will have the value as x is equal to 0 0.3 or minus 2.3 because it is just one decimal point okay did you understand the use of the uh, this one, the table? Now let's take another sum. We'll take the fourth ka third sum. Okay, let's see the fourth ka third sum. That is 2x square plus 11x plus 4 is equal to 0. a is equal to 2, b is equal to 11, and c is equal to 4. x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. That gives me minus 11 plus or minus root of 11 square minus 4 into 2 into 4 upon 2 into 2. That's minus 11 plus or minus root of 121 minus 32 upon 4. Okay, so here we see that it is 121 minus 32 is 89. So this will be minus 11 plus or minus root of 89 upon 4. So from the table we get over here that the root of 89 you can see that 89 is on this side, 86, 87, 88, 89 is 9.434, it's 9.434, so it's equal to minus 11 plus minus 9.434 upon 4.
okay that gives me as I put it over here x is equals to minus 11 plus 9.434 upon 4 or minus 11 minus 9.434 upon 4 that gives me as a subtraction over here as 1 point minus 1.566 upon 4 or it will be minus 20.434 upon 4 so x will be equal to minus 0 0.3915 or it's minus 5.1085 now the question was three decimal points. So there are three decimal points. So x is equal to minus 0 0.392 or minus 5.109 as the answer. This was about the decimal points. Sometimes they also give you the questions in which they are asked to uh, find out the Instead of decimal points, they give you as significant figures. Now, if it is three significant figures, then over here the answer would have been the same over here. Significant figures, because zero cancel or nahi hota hai, so it will be 392. But in this case, in case of significant figures, the answer would have been over here minus 5.11. Because three figures each are three significant figures. Over here, if it is significant figures, then it will be minus 0 0.392 or it will be this one. But here it is three decimal points. So three decimal point, it is this way. There is one more important thing which I would like to share in this particular video itself and that is suppose you have got over here that the root what you get is something like it is something like my, uh, plus or minus root of 133. Now if it is something like 133, what will happen that you cannot find out the values of 133 because 133 itself is almost like a prime number. You do not have any factors of 133 which can split it. In such a case, what we will do is that we will take it as plus or minus root of 1.33 into 100. Okay. This 100 over here is nothing but 10, so it will be plus or minus. 10 root of 1.33 now 1.33 ka the value hai wo tum log ko mil jayega from this particular table because the square root table is one table is from 10 to 100 and other is from 1 to 10 which is having all the decimal points so in that particular thing you can see it is 1.3 and then you take 3 over here so 1.33 ka value mil jayega tum log ko as 1.153 so root 1 is equals to plus or minus 10 into root nikal jayega uske mile, uske mile 1.153 that will be the root of 1.3 usme 3 that is 1.153 hence it will become plus or minus 11.53 as the value so we can say that root of 133 is nothing but 11.53 this is very very important this part is very very important understand this properly that 133 aisa koi bhi number ho jisko hum log split karke hum log nahi karte say 160 ke andar we do it for 160 we did over there that 16 into 100 16 into 10 so it is 4 root 10 but in such case you are not able to do this thing hence what we'll do is that we'll take it as 1.33 into 100 so 100 ka square root to mujhe malum hai ki wo 10 hai to 10 into 1.33 1.33 ka value tum logo ko mil jayega table mein se okay what table may say 1.33 value dal ke baad mein, you get this particular value as this. So this is nothing but 133 ka root is plus or minus 11.53. Okay. So I think this should uh, be sufficient for you to solve this particular chapter. Of course, I'm there for the doubts. Uh, because there's no point making the videos wherein I just give you the solutions to it. Okay. So I think quadratic equation will stop here with this particular uh, video.